Believe it or not, there was a time when I didn't believe in the Bible. Not in the God of the Bible, because I didn't question his presence. I had encountered him too clearly and too many times to doubt him. But the Bible, this was different. I questioned the very pen of the men who wrote it. What I didn't know then that I actually know now is that I wasn't distrusting the writers. I was actually projecting. I didn't trust myself, so I believed they couldn't be trusted either. And maybe you've been there too. You've experienced God. You've seen too much to unsee him, but you still wondered, can I trust what's been written in this book? And in the next few minutes, you're going to see why that answer might be more powerful than you ever, ever could have imagined. Because there's some handwritten manuscripts called the Dead Sea Scrolls. And guess what? They were just redated by AI. And what AI found doesn't just support scripture. It actually confirms it. If you're not familiar with what these are, the Dead Sea Scrolls, here's what you need to know. They're a collection of ancient manuscripts discovered by Bedouin uh, shepherds in the caves of Qumran from the dates of 1947 to 1956. This discovery included over 900 texts ranging from nearly every book of the Old Testament, with exception of Esther, interesting, to the apocryphal writings, community laws, and other religious documents. But once these manuscripts landed into the hands of scholars, they had two main tools to figure out their age. One was radiocarbon dating and the other paleography, the study of ancient handwriting. All that sounds solid, right? But here's the problem. Both methods had serious blind spots because there was a 400 year void in Hebrew manuscript evidence. Before the Dead Sea Scrolls, the only securely dated Hebrew writings are the Elephantine Papyri, which were legal and community documents written in or by Jewish military families in Egypt between 450 BC and 400 BC. They provide one of the earliest fixed chronological anchors for Hebrew Aramaic script. Scholars use their handwriting styles and their radiocarbon results as the baseline when evaluating later manuscripts, such as the Dead Sea Scrolls. They did this to bridge the 400-year gap in Hebrew documentary evidence, but they weren't scripture. And after that, the next dated Hebrew documents are called the Barcoba letters. They don't appear until the first century AD. So the Dead Sea Scrolls written between the 3rd century BC and 1st century AD fall into that blind spot. So scholars were guessing. That's until now. That's where the University of Groningen comes in. Groningen's international team of researchers led by Professor Popovich built a deep learning AI model trained on carbon data scrolls and ancient handwriting and they named it Enoch. And Enoch doesn't just read letters. It analyzes how ink flows, how the scribes curved each line, how much pressure was applied to the parchment itself. So using a Bayesian regression and neural network called a Binet, Enoch can predict the age of manuscripts with an unbelievable precision of plus or minus 30 years. That's amazing. That's tighter than radiocarbon dating alone, which can be as much as 200 years. And when they gave it 135 undated scrolls into Enoch, what it revealed wasn't just unexpected. It was biblical. Let's start with 4Q114. It's a fragment of the book of Daniel originally dated between 150 to 75 BC. For decades, critical scholars claimed that the book of Daniel wasn't written in the 6th century BC, as it claims, but during the Maccabean revolt. And that was around 165 BC. 
They argued it's not prophecy, it's political fiction pretending to be divine foresight because its prophecies are that spot on. Scholars believe the level of detailed accuracy suggests the prophecies are actually a description of events that had already taken place. But here's what's interesting. Enoch dated the Daniel scroll fragments to the early to mid-160s BC. That exact same period, critics say the first book of Daniel was written. Now think about that. If Daniel was just composed in 165 BC, how was it already being copied, preserved, and then sealed away as sacred text? And watch this. Then taken and secreted in caves in Qumran. <laughs> you don't safeguard fiction. You don't stash a political allegory in a sacred cave. The scroll, its existence at that exact moment proves it wasn't just circulating, but that it was revered. And that's interesting. It means Daniel wasn't slowly evolving. It was being protected because it had already been recognized as something to be revered, as sacred. So let's talk about another one. 4Q109, it's a fragment from the book of Ecclesiastes or Kohelet. Before this new AI analysis, scholars had placed it somewhere between 175 and 150 B.C already centuries after Solomon's time. Tradition says Solomon wrote Ecclesiastes around 950 BC, but most modern scholars completely disagree with that time. They argue it was written anonymously in the third century BC by a Jewish thinker wrestling with Greek philosophy and the identity crisis of post uh, exilic Israel. The problem, we had never had a scroll to back up that theory. It was all assumption. But now, thanks to Enoch's AI handwriting analysis, that theory just became a verified timeline. Enoch dated 4Q109 to around 250 BC, right inside the third century. The same window Scholars suggested that it was originally written. In other words, we're holding a scroll that was copied at the same time the author would have been alive. Not after, not centuries later, right then. 4Q109 shows us a scribe capturing a sacred voice immediately. This is what real time transmission looks like, not evolution. Not redaction, preservation. The AI Enoch doesn't prove who wrote Daniel or Ecclesiastes, but it proves something just as powerful, that the scrolls we found were copied at the same time the authors were believed to be alive. <laughs> That's interesting. That means the words were trusted instantly, preserved, protected, and passed on right away. Not centuries later, but right then and there. And this is where all of this comes together. For the first time in history, we now have physical scrolls, fragments, 4Q Daniel C and 4Q 109 that align with the exact same time period their authors were believed to have lived. Not centuries later. Not redacted versions, not distant copies. We're talking about actual manuscripts that were written when the ink of the message was still fresh in the culture. We don't know exactly who penned the final form of Daniel, but most scholars say it was compiled during the Maccabean crisis around the 160s BC. And Ecclesiastes, though tradition credits Solomon, modern scholars argue it was anonymously a Jewish say writing in the third century BC until now those were just educated guesses but now thanks to radiocarbon science and Enoch's neural handwriting analysis 
Those guesses became evidence. 4Q114 and 4Q109 aren't just ancient scraps. They're the first confirmed biblical scrolls from the era of the original authors. That means we have something we've never had before. Tangible, datable proof that some parts of the Bible were preserved immediately, trusted, instantly copied in real time. This isn't myth. This isn't legend. These are the hands that wrote the Bible. And now we're seeing their fingerprints. We're witnessing the scribal world not as a fading tradition, but as a living reaction to revelation. We're not centuries away from the originals. We're within hand's reach of the hands that wrote the Bible. And that's game changing. Can I tell you something that makes this moment so personal for me? In 2005, just looking at my transcripts the other day, I was three courses away from earning my degree in nuclear power technology. I had my life planned out. Engineering, energy, equations. Then the Spirit of God said to me, clearly, theology. I brought that to my university advisor, and she laughed at me. She said, you'll basically be starting over. I heard it again, just as clear as we're talking now, theology. I chose to trust God. I gave him my plan, and he gave me my purpose. Today, I hold a doctorate in the very thing I once doubted. <laughs> If you want to see God laugh, come tell him what you have doubts about. Come bring him what you think. He'll show you. He'll make it clear. He'll make it plain. I say often that if you want to do it, it's not God. But if you don't want to do it, it's him. <laughs> think about that. Think about it hard. Here we go. Daniel 12, chapter 4 says, Seal the book even until the time of the end. Many shall run to it, to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And today, 2,000 years later, those scrolls literally sealed in clay jars have been reopened. And not just by scholars but by software, by AI, artificial intelligence. Even machines are bearing witness that the word never failed. Like Jesus said, if they keep silent, the stones will cry out. Well, the scrolls are crying out. And this time, they're shouting in code. And if this stirs something in you, if you want to understand the original language the scrolls were written in, check out my books, God's Garden, The Name Above All Names, and Elucidations. But if you already have any one of these, consider registering for my Hebrew course, The Ancient Hebrew Key. And I'll teach you how to read the word the way the scribes wrote it. Stroke by stroke, letter by letter, depth by depth. Because the Bible wasn't just preserved, it was designed. This wasn't a video about artificial intelligence. It was a testimony of how truth echoes across time, even through technology. After this, that's something you can't unsee. Now, watch this next video. Before the Bible had 66 books, it had 80. What happened to the other 14? It completes the scroll story you just stepped into. Once you see this, you'll never be able to read the Bible the same way again.